Hey, we have here today another integral from the UNT integration B. This was sample problem number 21. We have the integral of dx over x cubed plus 8. So the first thing I'm going to notice here is this 8 right here. We can write this as 2 cubed. So I'm just going to do a quick rewrite and write this as x cubed plus 2 cubed. And now what we have here in the denominator is the sum of 2 cubes. Well, there's a nice factorization for this. We can write this as x plus 2 times x squared minus 2x plus 2 squared, which is 4. But now that we have it in this form, we're set up nicely for partial fractions. So we're just going to kind of split this into two fractions. And let me write that up. Okay, so you notice that I've rewritten this now and set it up for our partial fractions, splitting up our denominator, right? So here's our x plus 2 here and our x squared minus 2x plus 4 here. We set up the numerator with these variable values that we want to find. We want to find this a, b, and c. And we'll notice that the denominator is one degree less than the, sorry, the numerator is one degree less than the denominator. So this is first degree. And so we have just a constant value here. This is a second degree polynomial. So we have a first degree in the numerator here. And what I'm gonna to do to solve for these values, a, b, and c, is kind of pretend like we're putting it back together, like we wanna put it back into this form. Well, to do that, we want a common denominator here. So what I would do, I'd multiply numerator and denominator by x squared minus two x plus four. So in the numerator here, we're gonna have a, times x squared minus 2x plus 4. And then doing the same thing here, we're going to have our bx plus c. But to get a common denominator, we multiply by x plus 2 here. And we'd have bx plus c times x plus 2. So if we were to multiply these back together to put it back into this form, notice that we just have a 1 in the numerator. So all this stuff here is just going to be equal to 1 because we don't want to change it. So we can set this whole thing equal to just 1. Then I'm just going to distribute everything out and put it back together. So we're going to have here ax squared minus 2ax plus 4a. Then here we'll foil it out and we'll have bx squared cx plus 2bx plus 2c. And then I'll just group together our common terms. Like here we have ax squared and bx squared. That's our only squared terms. So when we put those together, ax squared plus bx squared but that's gonna to have to equal zero, but notice back here again, we just have a one, so there's no zero term. So essentially, but we can just cancel off all these x squareds and just, and just try to solve this equation, a plus b equals zero. Then we'll do the same kind of thing for all of our, uh, our x terms, right? So we'll have like cx plus two bx minus two ax, and again, that's gonna be zero. And then we'll group together our constant terms. Let's see, we have a four a and just a 2c, I think. And so we're gonna have 4a plus 2c equals one. Okay, so from here, we just have a system of equations here, and we just wanna solve for our a, b, and c with this by using whatever means necessary. I think what I'll do first is just use this first equation and solve for b, so we have b equals minus a, and then I can take that and plug it in here in this equation. So if I have c plus two, and then our b is minus a, so we'll have a minus a here, minus two a equals zero. So this equation will give us c minus 4a equals 0, or c equals 4a. And I can just take that over here. And so we'll have 4a plus 2 times c, which is 4a, so this is going to be 8a equals 1. So then 12a equals 1, or a equals 1 over 12. Okay, so we established a equals 1 over 12, but now we have b equals minus a. So b is going to be easy. b is just going to be minus 1 over 12. And then to solve for c, I think let's use this equation. We could use this one, but it's not gonna matter very much. So we're gonna have c plus two b is gonna be minus one over six, and then minus two times a is gonna be another minus one over six equals zero. And then reducing this, we're gonna have c minus one over three equals zero. So that tells us that c is gonna equal one third. Okay, so now that we have all these values over here on the right, we just need to plug them back in. We know our a, b, and c. So let's go back to our integral. So our first integral, a is gonna be, we're gonna have one over 12 x plus two dx. And then here, bx plus c. So that's gonna give us minus one over 12 pl uh, x plus one over three. And then we'll have the same denominator. Well, then our first integral is easy because we'll just take a 1 12th out. Integral of one over x plus two is just gonna be natural log absolute value x plus two. On this integral, I'm going to actually take out, I was going to take out a minus 1 over 12. I think I'm going to take out a minus 1 over 24 to set this up. And then if I do that, just making it all work, this is going to be a 2x here. And then 
this one third is gonna become a minus eight. Then we'll have the same denominator again, two x plus four dx. Okay, now getting back, let's just focus on this integral right here. And what I'm gonna do here, I wanna get it where my denominator, I wanna get it where my derivative of the denominator is just in the numerator, make it simple, make it easy on myself. What I'm gonna do is take this minus eight, I'm gonna rewrite that. I'm gonna write minus eight as minus two, minus six. But what I really wanna do is take this minus six and we'll do another integral. So multiplying minus six times minus one over 24 here, this is gonna give us a plus one fourth here. And then we're gonna have the integral of just dx over x squared minus two x plus four. And now we can do this one really quick because again, I'm gonna make this denominator my u. We'll kind of do this u substitution in our head. So if our denominator is u, just notice that this 2x minus 2 dx is going to be our du, taking the derivative of the denominator. And so when we just do that out, this integral is going to be just the natural log of the absolute value of x squared minus 2x squared, sorry, x squared minus 2x plus 4. And now all we have left is just one integral. That's not too bad. So let's get to that one. So I'm going to take my 1 fourth. We'll leave that out front. But on this thing, what I'm going to do is complete the square. What you can do for completing the square on this, we have our x term. I could take 1 half of minus 2, and we have x minus 1. Square that. If you square that, it's going to give you x squared minus 2x plus 1, but we have a plus 4. So I'll just add a 3 here so that the plus 1 plus 3 is going to give us our 4. But let's rewrite 3. I'm going to write 3 as the square root of 3 squared. And then just to make it clear, we'll do a really quick u substitution here. So I'm going to call my u equal to x minus 1, but then our du is dx. So you can kind of skip this and just do it in your head, but I just want to make it clear. So if I rewrite this, let's just, and we're just focusing on this integral now, so we're going to have 1 over 4 du u squared plus square root of 3 squared. Well, this is just the arctan integral. Let's just look at the formula for this kind of integral real quick if I have enough space. So for an integral in the form dx over x squared plus a squared, we just have to take our a out here in the uh, denominator, and then we're going to have arctan x over a. So doing that on this thing here, we'll have 1 over 4, then we need this square root of 3 in the denominator here, and then we'll just end up with arctan of our u over square root of 3. Let's just remember that our u is x minus 1, so we can rewrite this, and we'll write it as 1 over 4 square root of 3, arctan x minus 1, over square root of three. Okay, so let me just see if I can rewrite this and this will be our final solution. We're gonna have one over 12, natural log, absolute value, x plus two, minus one over 24, natural log, x squared, minus two x, plus four, absolute value. And then this thing, one over four, square root of three, arctan, x minus one, over square root of three, plus c, and that's it. I do notice whenever you do partial fractions, it tends to take a little more time, so. Not too bad though, we'll stop it there. Thanks everyone for watching today. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.